guys you're welcome back to our channel today we are going to be learning how to make some sardine bread rolls are you ready oh yeah oh, let us start so first you're going to get your all-purpose flour your normal flour and measure through a sieve into a bowl the reason why you should always filter your flour is because it's going to make it lighter it's going to remove whatever dirt or clumps in your flour and it's just going to make it easy to work with okay so make sure you don't skip this step now you're going to add a pinch of salt some sugar you are going to mix together this is our dry ingredients okay so just mix together and now you're going to take out another cup or a bowl and then you're going to mix together a tablespoon of your regular milk powder mix with warm water to get warm milk and in that warm milk you're going to add about two teaspoons of your regular active yeast remember we are trying to make bread and we are trying to just prove the yeast to be sure that it is still active and by the way this is the yeast brand that i use you can use any type of yeast that you have and now we need some melted butter margarine okay so you're going to just place your pan on medium to low heat dropping your butter or margarine i'm using this margarine and then leave it to just melt for a few seconds to get your melted butter now let's check on our yeast to know if your yeast is still very active after leaving for a few seconds you should have like this frothy dot like kind of appearance now you can now pour in your melted butter i dropped in one egg mixed together to get the wet ingredients so basically what we are doing is that we are trying to mix together the wet and the um, dry ingredients separately and then combining both together very very easy you guys you know we like to do our things step by step right so you're going to use a spatula to just mix together and now you have to drop your spatula because the work is about to begin we are going to need this dough this is not a no need bread if you are looking for a no need bread we've already done that one just check our previous video this one you have to take time out to knead it okay so when you knead your dough it's going to make it soft it's going to make it fluffy and it's going to make it very very nice and smooth okay so all you have to do is just to fly a work surface like this okay just sprinkle a little bit of your flour and then drop the bread your dough rather in the middle of it and just press it like i am doing use your knuckles to press and stretch very very easy this should take about 10 to 15 minutes max if you have a mixer you might want to just do this in your mixer if you don't please use your hands to knead kneading does not really take time okay just use your knuckles to press and just roll and stretch like i am doing after kneading for a while this is what your dough should look like it's soft smooth and stretchy now you're going to place back in that same bowl the one we used in mixing the dough sprinkle a little bit of oil so that it won't dry out and then drop in that bowl and we're going to leave this to prove okay for at least 30 to one hour or till it basically just doubles in size so i just covered now with a plastic wrap we are going to set it aside while it is proofing you guys remember we are trying to make sardine bread so bring out your titles <laughs> your sardine and then just take out the oil use that one for noodles or for whatever later and now you're going to in a bowl take out the contents of your sardine your your fish yes pour it in a bowl and then you're going to get some chopped onions and some pepper because this spice likes pepper this part is actually very optional okay boy you guys i like pepper a lot so i got some scotch bonnet pepper and just um just chop it up chop it up chop it up you can use a chopper to chop up your pepper if you want to and like i mentioned earlier this is very optional you guys you can skip the pepper part out but if you are a proud member of the pepper gang please type in the comment section i love pepper let us know ourselves you're going to pour this in your sardine and then you're going to also get some onions chop it up into some small tiny pieces and pour it in as well mix together and set it aside 
Aside this, we also have to prepare our dish where we are going to be baking the bread in. So I just got like a, a normal oven dish. If you have a baking pan, you can use that. And you are going to just rub some butter or margarine all over your dish before lining up with what they call the parchment or the baking paper. You can get this one from any baking store. Just tell them you want to get parchment or baking paper. Okay, so cut it up and then put it inside your dish that way your bread is going to come out looking very nice and easy to remove so now that our dish is well prepared let's check on our dough as you can see it has doubled in size and now you're going to open it up and you're going to punch it okay just to deflate any excess air inside your dough and you're going to just roll together and cut into some smaller pieces depending on the type of bread shape and size that you're going for for me i'm going for the small mini bread rolls so what i did was just roll this up into a long straight dough and then use my knife to just cut into small pieces i need about 12 small dough balls okay so yours can be more or lesser than that so just cut it up into any shape and size that you like and then you're going to take one of the dough balls and first you're going to just flatten it up and use your hand to first of all flatten it up before getting a rolling pin to press it up just to open it up because you're going to be filling this dough with a sardine mix remember we are trying to make sardine bread so you flatten fill it up close your dough and that's all very easy make sure you don't overfill your dough so that it will be easy for you to mold into balls so this is exactly how it is done just pay attention to the video as you can see you're going to lift up all the edges of the dough and you're going to just use your hand to pinch it up like this just to seal it up because you don't want your bread to start cracking at all when you are done you can just roll it out on your workspace to smoothen it so let's go over this again get your dough um flatten it and you are going to now fill it up with your sardine mix make sure you don't overfill lift up all the edges like this and then just mold this into a ball by lifting up all the edges and then pinching it like this to close it up don't worry it doesn't have to be perfect okay especially if you're a beginner but just try your best i believe in you i know you can do this so just roll this into a ball as much as you can and then you can smoothen it out in a rocking motion on your work surface okay So you're going to repeat the same process for the other dough and strategically arrange it in your dish your baking pan whatever you're using guys are you following if you didn't get it for the first second time let's do this for the last time again so just pay attention to the video and while you're following i would like us to give a shout out to press j for dropping a comment in our previous video if you want to get a shout out as well just drop a comment under this video and i'm going to give you a free shout out in our next video okay and if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome my name is tosin and my goal is to help you become a better home cook with step-by-step -step recipes like this so if you have not subscribed please subscribe okay so back to our video we now have our dose everything is inside one two three four five six seven eight nine nine not two four i made a mistake it was supposed to be nine doughs that should fit into my baking dish so i covered it up and then left it to proof again for another 15 to 20 minutes and while that is proofing you're going to mix together one egg and a tablespoon of milk this is called egg wash and we're going to use this to brush the top of our bread before we bake it's going to give the bread that golden brown nice and shiny cross that bread usually have so make sure you don't skip this step at all okay so get your brush and just 
you know use the egg wash to just brush the top of your bread your dough rather why do i keep calling this bread yeah we are making bread but this is still dough and you're going to just brush it off lightly okay and when you are done you're going to put this in an oven uh-huh so actual bread baking does not take time at all in 10 15 to 18 minutes you should be done the only thing that takes time is that waiting for you to prove and all of that so right now we have this in our oven and we're going to set the temperature to around 175 to 180 degrees for about 18 minutes and this is what i have after doing that and you guys our sardine bread is ready you can brush it off with some butter if it's still very hot or some melted butter for that extra shine on top of your bread and ladies and gentlemen we just finished making sardine bread i want you guys to try this recipe for your family especially now that bread is now very expensive okay all you have to do is just to get the ingredients together roll roll and bake that's all you can even skip the sardine part if you don't want it it's not that very compulsory okay so let's open up our bread and let's see what is looking like inside yeah our sardine and pepper looking pretty <laughs> you guys as usual the full ingredient list will be in the description box so make sure you check it out so you can try this out i can't wait to see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys